Now we'll see what happens if we drop them onto pavement. This is a review of the Bowflex Selectec 552 dumbbells. Getting cancer from using your adjustable dumbbells is a significant bummer. First thing you'll notice, the cancer warning on the box. According to sources online, the cancer causing thing is this grip right here, this neoprene. All you gotta do is get some grip tape, bam, no more cancer, and you can actually grip the fuckers. This pair of Bowflex Selectec 552 dumbbells was $566 from Walmart delivered. It came with these plastic trays and the two adjustable dumbbells, 52 and a half pounds each. You're probably wondering why the hell does he have another set of adjustable dumbbells? Well, these were the original Nautilus brand. I got these at the start of the pandemic. I recommend not getting the stand because as you will see, it is massive, it is heavy, and it takes up a ton of space. The whole point of getting adjustable dumbbells is supposed to be to save space. So you got this huge thing that takes up a ton of space in your living rooms. I've been using these for a few years. Now it does say do not drop. So let's see what happens when we drop these things. So first we'll try dropping the dumbbell onto the grass, which could happen if you were working out. They could get dropped. If you have children, they're fucking around with them. So that's grass. Now we'll see what happens if we drop them onto pavement. A little bit of damage to the dial. But other than that, it seemed to be okay. Dropping them doesn't seem to be that big of an issue. Now let's simulate a little bit of a worst case scenario, dropping them down concrete steps. Seem to be okay, everything seems fine. Suffice to say, the technology is solid enough that I think you can drop your Bowflex Electric dumbbells without too much worry. So at least for $500, you're getting something that's sturdy and durable. If you're thinking about buying adjustable dumbbells for $500, you can get dumbbells like this one right here with a better grip that doesn't cause cancer. The shape of this grip is better. The shape of the handles on the Nautilus and the Bowflex is exactly the same. I hate them. They feel uncomfortable. I don't like these bevels. The grips don't feel good, especially when you get into the heavier 50 pound range. Dumbbells like this one feel better in your hands and feel more comfortable on your wrists, especially at the heavier weights. The only reason you would want adjustable, selectable dumbbells over a big set of free weights is to save space. So if you have the space, I fully recommend getting a set of free weight dumbbells. If you're short on space and you're set on getting adjustable dumbbells, here's what you need to know about the Bowflex Selectec 552 and the Nautilus. I have never had a problem with the plates falling off. Even though these are just plastic slats, they hold these plates on super well. I had adjustable barbells as well that I sold after the pandemic where you would lift them up and the plates would just fall off and almost smoke your toes. That never happens with these. Super smooth, super fast. That's 20 pounds, 40 pounds. And even at 52 and a half pounds, super solid. One thing you will notice though, is that when you go to five, or 15, it is a bit awkward. You still have this huge clunky thing that kind of rattles around, which personally, I don't like, especially if you're trying to do movements like a hammer curl, or curls when you're supinating or pronating. It kind of sucks. The regular little dumbbell just feels better. It just feels more natural. You don't have this giant thing in the way, but it is nice having the convenience of being able to go up to 52 and a half pounds with a twist of a little dial. It does make it nice. They do save a ton of space. If you are getting them, there is a little bit of play in them. This set of Bowflex 552s is brand new. I just bought them because I wanted to see if anything was improved. Nothing's improved. They haven't changed the technology a single bit. Four or five years I've owned them, moved around, banged around, dropped around, dropped these all over the place outside. They seem super durable. At least you're getting a durable quality weight for $500 that is gonna last. It is overpriced. I have not tried other selectable adjustable dumbbells. I don't know if they will stand up to dropping them like these will. So as long as you're not worried about catching cancer from the grips or the dials, I think these are a pretty solid investment, but like I said, skip the stand and just use the plastic trays on the ground as demonstrated right here. Save yourself a couple hundred bucks on that at least. I think the way to go with these is to try and pick up a used set on something like Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji or eBay or whatever for a couple hundred bucks. These would be excellent. You can work every muscle in your body with a set of adjustable dumbbells without a bench even.